Some days are more difficult than others. Nasi, is everything all right? <sighs> there are times when my father's absence drifts to the back of my mind. And I feel peace for a day or two. But this is not one of those times. I miss him. I miss running with him. I miss Mati Belliland. He should still be here. And it's my fault that he isn't. It's not your fault, Natty. There's nothing you could have done to prevent it. That is what my mother says. But he died protecting me. And I cannot help but feel guilty over that. I find myself reliving the moment more often than I would like. I believe I would feel less helpless if I could truly put an end to Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's miserable lot. Each day they remain free, they do more damage, leaving people like Archie Bickle to suffer the consequences. I agree, Natty. We'll get them. I've never seen someone so committed to a cause. Thank you. I believe we will get them. Beginning with Harlow. Thank you for speaking with me. It was very helpful. Frustrating. You wanted to speak with me, Mother? I had hoped to speak with you alone, Natsai. Your message mentioned your concern about an unusual creature that was spotted in the woods near Hogsmeade. That could have been anything. You know what it was, Natsai. I am allowed to leave the castle. I am always careful, Mother. Careful? Officer Singer disagrees. She sent me an owl telling me that you have been trying to collect evidence of some kind against dark wizards. She berated me for not keeping a closer eye on you. And she is right. I do not want you visiting Hogsmeade for the near future. But mother! My little gazelle, you are well-intentioned, but you must not meddle in the affairs of dangerous people. If someone had meddled in Matebeleland, father would still be with us. <sighs> I must get to class. Perhaps your friend can get you to listen to reason. So frustrating. She never listens to me. She called you her little gazelle. Is that a term of endearment where you're from? It is specific to me. <sighs> I am the unusual creature in Hogsmeade she mentioned. Self-transfiguration is not taught at Hogwarts. So I am gently discouraged from practicing it. However, I am an Animagus. And it is in my gazelle form that I have been able to wander the highlands rather freely until now. Much to my mother's chagrin. That is how I managed to spy on Rookwood and Harlow. Were you born an Animagus? Or did you learn to become one? Animagi are not born. The process is quite elaborate. It involves holding a mandrake leaf in one's mouth for an entire month then placing the leaf in a crystal phial so that it is imbued with moonlight, then adding one of your own hairs. And that is just the beginning. Self-transfiguration is common among students at Wagadu, but Professor Weasley considers it much too dangerous to teach at Hogwarts. Now the nickname makes sense. What an extraordinary ability to have. It is. I love transforming, but Mother is less enthusiastic about it. She says that no creature, especially one as rare as a gazelle, should be bounding about where poaching has become so prevalent. <sighs> she claims that she has foreseen tragedy befall me in my gazelle form. But she has used her sight to control me too many times. I no longer believe it. We're making good progress. We can't quit now. I agree. I have never considered quitting, even for a moment. 
You could have fled the moment you discovered that Rookwood, Harlow, and Randrock were after you, but you did not. I choose to act as you have. I must deal with Rookwood and Harlow, not hide from them. <sighs> My mother cannot know where I am all the time. Thank you for being here during that rather awkward conversation. Are you ready to finish Harlow? I'm ready to finish Harlow once and for all. What is your plan? I received an owl from Mrs. Bickle. She wondered if we were having any luck going after Harlow. Suggested we could gather evidence from a friend near Manor Cape. But she warned us to stay out of it. Was rather adamant about it. Precisely. Harlow knows that we saved Archie and that we rescued Mr. Rabe. The letter didn't come from Mrs. Bickle, did it? I do not believe it did. Hallow intends to ambush us. But now we have the upper hand. We can prepare. We are stronger than Hallow, and he knows it. That's why he's resorting to this sort of trickery. We must go. Agreed. Let's finish this. Brilliant. Hallow's reign ends today. Perhaps we ought to inform Officer Singer of our plans. I already sent her an owl to let her know that we were following a lead given to us by Mrs. Bickle. Are you concerned she might tell your mother? Indeed she will, but so be it. I am tired of hiding it from her. My mother needs to understand that I will not be safe from the Ashwinders until everyone is. I shall pursue them until they are finished, and I think she knows that. As do you. That I do. Keep an eye out. Hollow is likely around here somewhere. I sense he is close. Where is he? I do not know. We should look around. Sionai, in it, and her excruciatingly loyal companion. You two have done quite a bit of damage to my business interests. <laughs> but I must gradually give you some credit. What was once a mere annoyance has become remarkably problematic. Fortunately, I pride myself on my 
problem-solving skills. Are you sure you are up for a visitor? Yes, mother. I feel fine, and it will do me good to see my friend. Very well. Revelio. But do not overdo it, Natsai. I know, mother. <sighs> it is good to see you, my friend. I'm glad to see you're doing so well. I am doing better than it appears. I am only here because my mother insisted just to be safe. I was relieved when she told me that you were all right. Only because of you. How are you feeling? <laughs> well, I've had better days, but Nurse Blaney says that I am on the mend. I'm sorry, Natty. It's my fault you got hurt. What? No. Do not blame yourself for this. The moment that I saw Harlow aim his wand at you, well... You quickly made the choice to protect me. I did what I had to, and I would do it again. I could not simply stand there and let you get hurt. Then I shouldn't feel guilty. Of course not. There was nothing that you... Oh. Oh my. I cannot believe that it took me this long to see it. He made a choice. 
Based on instinct, my father, you, my friend, are no more to blame for my injuries today than I am to blame for my father's sacrifice years ago. From what I know of him, it seems there's a lot of your father in you. That's very kind of you to say. I hope that you are right. This has all been a bit much, hasn't it? A battle here at Hogwarts. Everything we have done to take down Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's lot. But we have done it. Rookwood is dead, Harlow is on his way to Azkaban, and the rest of them are on the run. A few of the dregs will still be about, fighting for their lost cause. But Rookwood's enterprise has fallen apart. Everything is safer now because of us. Because of you. Thank you, but we make a formidable team. You, my fellow traveller, have enriched my time at Hogwarts beyond anything I could have imagined. Thank you. I believe your friendship to be one of the most important in my life. Thank you for coming to visit me. It is always good to see you. The best way to learn how to fly.